From the iconic golden fries to a broken ice cream machine, here are 10 fast food secrets that the fast food industry doesn't really want you to know. Ah, chicken nuggets. Those golden crispy bites you can get from fast food chains. They're even on the menu of school lunches. What if I tell you that they aren't actually made entirely out of chicken? Researchers took chicken nugget samples from unnamed fast food chains and analyzed them. They said that one sample, for instance, contained only 40% and another 50% of meat. The rest? Well, you're eating mouthfuls of things like fat, connective tissue, and bone spicules. Many fast food companies grind the meat with that stuff. They make mechanically formed orbs of chicken parts. Why? Perhaps it's because this method is cheaper and more profitable. Millions of restaurants worldwide have chicken nuggets on their menu. So, scientifically, it's not fair to say all nuggets are made this way. But a lot of studies imply so. The more the meat is processed, the more you lose the good stuff, like vitamin B6 and B12. The bitter truth is that companies add stuff, such as sodium, to the mixed paste. Sodium is added to get a better flavor. It's one of the ingredients that makes nuggets so yummy. Our bodies need sodium, but not too much of it. Unfortunately, most junk food contains more than our bodies can handle. So it might be a safe option to avoid eating these sorts of foods frequently. Chains dip their nuggets into tempura batter and fry them in hydrogenated oil. That's also not a green light regarding health, but this is how they catch the golden tint. They put additional stuff in nuggets. What about grilled chicken? In recent years, we've seen brands highlighting grilled chicken as a healthier option. Research has been done about grilled chicken too. And the same approach is applied here. Take chicken samples from iconic fast food companies and send those to labs for analysis. The results show that companies are misleading people by advertising these products by labeling them as healthy, natural, and 100% chicken breast. In reality, a couple of things are added to the meat to make it tender and juicy. Plus, these additives make it easier to cook the meat, freeze, and transport it, and reheat it later without losing too much moisture. The drawback of all these additives is that they affect the nutritional value of the chicken breast. These ingredients aren't the healthiest for us. We should especially watch out for three things. The first one is again, sodium. Fast food samples had seven to 10 times more sodium than home cooked chicken breast. Imagine you have a cheeseburger, but you say no to yourself and try to pick a less harmful menu item. Yet, some chicken sandwiches have the same amount or even more sodium than a cheeseburger with medium fries. The second thing you need to watch out for is phosphate additives. These additives allow the protein to conjoin more water. This means the white meat in the sandwich will appear juicier to you. Any word you see in the ingredients section that contains FOS is a phosphate additive, so it's best to avoid them. The last thing you should avoid is sugars and starches, not just in grilled chicken, but pretty much in all fast food products. Oh, that's hard to digest, I admit. Cornstarch, sugar, malt, they come with grilled chicken breast. Buns and even some fries have sugar too. Everywhere I look, it's sugar. You see, home-cooked chicken has zero grams of carbs, but the study samples had added sugar and up to 10% of the calories in the chicken breast comes from there. So what's the moral of this story? If you're a health-conscious diner, you should maybe go for other options. There are secret recipes from companies like KFC and Coca-Cola. No company wants to share the ingredients that make their food irresistible, but with a little research, you can decipher many things. You want to know the secret of McDonald's fries? It's written on their website. They add beef flavoring to the frying oil. This may sound weird, but apparently that's a known practice amongst chefs and restaurants. Duck fat has also been used as a flavor, for example, in high-end restaurants. I'm a fries lover, so I added another fact about fries. Sadly, they're even saltier than you think. Experts suggest that a grown-up should consume at most 2,300 milligrams of sodium daily. Guess the McD's large fry sodium number. At least 400 milligrams. Classic fries from Burger King have 732 milligrams. And Five Guys take the level even higher with 962 milligrams of sodium. Next time, maybe you can ask workers to go easy on the salt as a solution. Picture this. 
you're in a hurry, but your tummy says, feed me, or I'll affect your mood and make life miserable for you. For a quick snack, you enter a fast food chain restaurant. You order your favorite burger. It looks and smells as if it's just been taken from the grill and served. Nope. They have different types of grills designed for this that can cook meat super quickly. Sorry to bear the bad news, but those perfect grill marks on your burger aren't real tools. The factory adds them. Ketchup, sauce bottles, and all other condiments we love all have a stage when it's difficult to get the insides out. You try hitting it, shaking it, and poking things inside to encourage the tasty condiments to come out. Luckily, there is an easier way to do it. The label at the top suggests where to tap the bottle. The sauce will come out easier and smoother, allowing gravity to take the place of frustration. The purpose of wooden coat hangers is to help repel pesky insects and avoid fungal growth that eats away at your clothing. As it's made of cedar wood, it contains oils that have insecticidal and fungicidal properties and were used as far back as the ancient Egyptians, although they used it for other purposes. We've all been trained and tested at the art of typing and know the correct way to use a keyboard. But you may not have noticed that the F and J keys have a small ridge at the bottom. They're there to help you find your correct starting place with your fingers on the keyboard, without having to look down. If you've been lucky enough to get the window seat on the plane, you would have noticed that little hole at the bottom of the window. It helps with the air pressure on the plane. The window itself is made from acrylic and isn't actually glass which saves it from fogging up so you can see the scenery on your journey. The windows on planes were originally square, however, they would continuously break from the constant changes in pressure. Round windows are able to evenly distribute the pressure, ensuring you'll have a pleasant journey without falling out. For all you Nintendo Switch players, those who have tried to taste your cartridges will notice they have a bitter taste. The manufacturers added it intentionally, as the Switch's cartridge size is very small and it might be a hazard for the youngest players that have a tendency to put things in their mouth that they shouldn't. So the bitter taste made from denatonium benzoate ensures that they won't be tasted for too long. Cosmetics containers that are filled with products used for your skin have a secret number on them. This is to help inform you how long the product will be usable ensuring it doesn't cause the reverse effect by damaging your skin instead. Pen lids have a hole at the end of them. It's not there to help your pen breathe and boost performance, but it's there to help you breathe. Just in case while you're sitting in class or at work and you're chewing on your lid and just happen to swallow it, you can be rest assured if it's stuck, the pen makers were thinking of you. When you're traveling by car or any other form of ground transportation and you're trying to drink your favorite pop from a straw, you'll find it quite difficult to do at times. Simply turn the tab on the can around so that your straw easily fits inside, making it easier to drink out of. There are always spare buttons when buying new clothes, along with a little bit of fabric. It's far too small to repair that crutch part that always rips first. The fabric is actually there for you to test how to wash it, so you don't accidentally ruin your brand new clothes. Determining how much pasta you need just for yourself can be difficult to figure out. Your big spaghetti spoon with the big hole on the inside, that looks like it's there to drain water, is actually there so you can put the uncooked pasta inside before cooking, so you know exactly how much you need. New shoes always come with those strange little packets, that's silica gel. The gels are there to reduce the moisture in the air to avoid any fungal growth while the shoes were waiting to be purchased. There's a lot of chemistry involved to get you that silica, and it's very effective, capable of absorbing 50% of the humidity. So make sure you don't throw it away. Next time you need to dry out your electrical devices, it's a lot easier than using rice. It's difficult enough to see at night whilst driving but it's even worse when the driver behind you shines their high beams. Your rearview mirror has a tab at the bottom. When you press it, it changes the angle. One is for day driving, the other, well, for nighttime. It'll help in case that one person driving behind you has forgotten to turn off their high beams. Although your screwdriver is ergonomically made for your hand, 
Sometimes you have that one screw that's too hard to loosen up. The handle is also shaped so you can easily fit inside of a ring spanner or wrench, allowing you to apply more force, ensuring that you can remove that troublesome screw. The skirt part on an escalator seems like a good spot to get your foot stuck. But in reality, those long brushes poking out aren't there to give you an extra shine on your shoes. But for safety precautions, to minimize the risk of trapping objects between the steps and the side of the escalator. Tires on the landing gear don't burst because they're designed for a load that's four to five times as great as they experience during landing. The wheel itself might break, but the tire won't burst. This little tip based on people's psychology can help you choose the fastest line at the airport. If there are several lines at check-in, opt for the left one. It's believed that you will get to the counter more quickly this way. Most people are right-handed and intuitively choose the right side. Your skin usually becomes a bit dry during the flight. This happens because of low humidity levels in the cabin. Bring a good moisturizer with you to keep your skin hydrated on board. Do you know that airplane pilots always eat different meals before a flight? This way, if one of them gets food poisoning, the other will be able to take control of the plane. Airplane tray tables are some of the dirtiest surfaces in the cabin, so make sure to wash your hands frequently. And clean that table with an antibacterial wipe to get rid of all those bacteria living there. If you're sitting in an aisle seat, you can have more space to stretch your legs out. Just push the button on the underside of the outermost armrest. This will move the armrest up, giving you more space for your legs and preventing the armrest from jabbing into your side. Here's a reason why they turn the lights off in the cabin. Passengers need to get used to the darkness in case an emergency landing happens at night. This way, their eyes are already used to the absence of light, which makes it easier to evacuate. Flight attendants ask you to open window shades so they can see what's happening outside. This way, they can choose the best way to evacuate passengers in case of an emergency. Almost all passenger planes are white since this color best reflects the sun's rays and prevents the plane from heating up. Another good reason is that white paint is cheaper. Also, workers and engineers can easily notice any damage on a white surface. It's better to avoid making important decisions during a flight your brain doesn't get enough oxygen at such heights. This negatively affects its functioning. Chewing gum, hard candies, and mints can help you to avoid this annoying ear popping during takeoff and landing, but not because of the candy itself. You feel better thanks to the process of swallowing. Yawning helps too. As for the gum, it also helps get rid of that bad breath caused by the thin air at high altitudes, which pulls moisture right out of your body. Dry air can make you feel as if you're coming down with a cold. The air in the cabin dries out your nose and throat as if you have symptoms of a cold. These symptoms usually go away right after landing. The water they use to make coffee and tea on board isn't always clean enough. Yeah, many companies use very good water filters now, but still, it's better to ask for bottled water if you're thirsty. That tiny triangle on the aircraft wall over your seat means a lot for flight attendants. These triangles mark the windows through which you can see flashing indicators. Those signal the retraction of the landing gears and the closing of the flaps. Let's say the pilots find out there's some problem. In that case, a flight attendant rushes to the necessary window to check what's happening. But for passengers, this is just the best place for photos, since you can see the wings perfectly. Seats in the middle of the cabin above the wings are the best for you if you have motion sickness. This area is more balanced and shakes the least during turbulence. If you tend to get nervous during the flight, do some physical exercise not long before boarding the plane. A little workout helps lower your stress levels and makes your body release endorphins, the happiness hormones. Also, this physical activity compensates for the hours you spend sitting still. The turbines are located under the wings since this makes it cheaper, faster, and easier to service the engines. Previously, they used to be placed in the tail. It required expensive equipment and much more time to repair. When they started installing the engines below the wings, ticket prices went down. Imagine you're flying in a hot air balloon. See the burner system installed under the gas bag, also called the envelope? 
it heats the air inside, which makes the balloon go up. So, turbulence is the same hot air but created by nature. When the air heats up, it rises a plane. When it becomes cooler, the aircraft goes down. And passengers feel as if they're riding a roller coaster. A stream of hot air left by another plane can also cause turbulence. It's common for most flights, but usually, turbulence is so light that passengers don't feel it. Do you know that planes can fly even after one engine fails? Pilots can control such emergency situations and land the aircraft safely. Passengers may feel a slight tilt during the flight, but in most cases, they don't even know the plane is flying with only one engine. Your eyes get oxygen straight from the air. It's not delivered by the blood. So your eyes can feel somewhat dry during the flight. Put eye drops in your bag. They'll help you keep your eyes moist. It's forbidden to carry large volumes of liquids on board because some hazardous substances can easily dissolve in water. If a plane has to land on water, its wings become a life-saving pillow. Empty fuel tanks help the aircraft stay afloat, too. By the way, it can be from 10 minutes to 60 hours before the plane sinks. It all depends on the model, weather conditions, and the pilot's skills. Those smiling flight attendants you meet when you get into the cabin usually hide their hands behind their backs. They're counting people entering the plane to make sure that all passengers are on board. Despite all the words people say about airplane food, it's not actually so bad. The problem is your sense of taste. It's not so acute since the air in the cabin makes your mouth dry. It also dulls your sense of smell. That's why airlines add a lot of spices and salt to their meals. Is it true that your hair grows faster during the flight? Not really. Scientists haven't managed to prove it. This myth appeared in the first part of the 20th century when some passengers noticed that their stubble had grown longer during the flight. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Almost any public toilet has a large gap between the floor and the door. The reason for such a zero privacy thing is to actually minimize the level of privacy and comfort so that people don't stay there long and there are no lines. It's also easier to clean and safer if some emergency occurs. Spoiled milk emits gases, like most foods when they go off. A classic plastic milk jug has a concave shape on one side, so when the gases expand inside the jug, it extends too, and the concave shape curves out. Also, if you want to save some milk for later and freeze it, the jug will expand when the milk gets solid and occupies more space in the jug. A pack of cotton pads has those strings on it so that we can hang it from some hook or holder. And no, there's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear along it and now you're good to pull out a cotton pad. Bananas tend to go black uncannily quickly. To store them for longer, wrap some cling film around the stem to help the fruit stay fresh for a few more days. French fries go best with some sauce or ketchup, but if it comes in a soft pack, you might have a hard time finding where to pour it. Next time, flip the bendable flap at the bottom of the fries box outward and you'll have a convenient makeshift plate for the sauce. Some ballpoint pens have a tiny hole on their side, whose function is unclear. In fact, it's a ventilation system. Without it, the ink would just stay where it is and not flow to the tip of the pen. The modern aviator sunglasses were initially made in the 1930s. Before that, pilots wore tinted goggles to protect their eyes from glare and low temperatures. But they weren't actually enough to block the blinding light up in the sky. So, later, a new kind of sunglasses was developed that we now know as aviators. Their lightweight metal frame made them easy to put on and off at will, and the green tint helped cut out the blue light. Besides, the now iconic green lenses only let 15% of light through. Their teardrop shape helped the pilot look down without the risk of being blinded by the glare from below. The seemingly random buttonhole on the lapel of a suit coat once served an actual purpose. Back in the 18th century, men used to wear dresses with high collars that had buttons all the way to the top. They would loosen up a bit on particularly hot days, unbuttoning the collar. 
The top of the dress's chest would then form two folded over flaps. This form became a classic that we now know today as suit coats with time. The button is nowhere to be found, but its buttonhole remains in place as a nod to the past. Many outdoor jackets, especially sports ones, have a small pocket on their chest. Its name is the Napoleon Pocket, and it's really a reference to the notorious French leader of the early 19th century. In his portraits, he would often be pictured with one of his hands stuck inside his jacket at the chest level. And this pose became very well known, thanks to him. The Napoleon pocket is right where he put his hand, but nowadays it's mainly used to keep maps or snacks handy, and a smartphone fits in it perfectly too. The ring on the bottom of a cast iron skillet was first introduced when natural gas wasn't yet a thing, and people mainly used wood stoves to cook. They burn wood logs in different compartments and then place pots and pans on top to heat up the food. The ring on the bottom of the skillet allowed it to sit slightly above and out of the flame. But its origins weren't a design feature, it was actually a bug. When you make a pan out of cast iron, it's difficult to achieve perfect flatness on the bottom, and even the slightest unevenness would make the skillet wobble on the stove. That's where the ring comes into play. You can grind it without doing so with the rest of the bottom, thus worsening its quality. And when ground, the ring becomes perfectly flat, removing the wobbling. The command key, meant to help users make do without a mouse on MacBook, dates back to the 1980s. Its original name was the Apple Key, but Steve Jobs didn't want to overuse the Apple name. That decision meant there would also need to be an alternative logo. Jobs gave the task of finding a symbol to represent the notion of command to one of the resident bitmap artists of the company. And the shape she came up with, the iconic pretzel design, was inspired by Nordic maps. They used it to mark campgrounds. Candle lighters hide a secret inside them. They're not that unique. In most cases, they have a regular lighter inside, plus a special mechanism to help the spark light the candle. Fruit and vegetable labels have numbers on them that indicate the countries they come from and how they were grown. A five-digit number starting with an eight means the fruit or veg was genetically modified. If the number begins with a nine, it was grown organically, and the rest grown in the usual way. Usually have four-digit numbers and start with a three or four. Multicolored circles at the bottom of chip bags tell the manufacturer if everything is printed the right way and their location tells the cutting machine about the exact place to cut. There's an icon on cosmetic items that looks like an open box with either 12M or 24M written on it. This icon tells you how much the product can last after being opened. The number and letter marking means the number of months, 12 or 24. What are those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. 
This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedarwood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric and new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this ground plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole. The red part, the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. In 1268, Roger Bacon made the first written mention on using telescope lenses for optical purposes. Magnifying lenses inserted in frames were popular for reading both in Europe and China at this time. So it's still a question if the West took it from the East or vice versa. If you find yourself in the middle of the sea without food, sorry, you can try fishing. You can use anything for bait, your phone, watch, keys, and you can use laces as a fishing line. Tie the bait and throw it into the water. And good luck catching the fish that swallowed your phone. It's going to be a whopper. You can turn over the tab on a lid of soda cans and use it to hold a cocktail straw in place. The blue half of the eraser wasn't originally created to delete the ink. Initially, the blue part erased inscriptions and drawings on thick paper. The red part couldn't do it without leaving streets, but the blue one handled this task perfectly. Most of us tear sticking notes off incorrectly. Try not to do it from below, but from the side along the licking line. The paper will stick to the wall for longer this way. Ever wondered what these two holes in the lollipop stick are for? All the time, you say. Well, when they put the bar in hot syrup, the liquid flows inside. It creates a solid attachment for the plastic. And so it goes. You know, there are all sorts of amazing things you can do with products already lying around the house that were meant for other things. We'll explore some of those, plus everyday items that have other purposes you may not be aware of. I'm also in a silly mood, so hey, let's have some fun. Many pairs of kitchen scissors today have a serrated opening where the handles and blades meet. You can use this as an herb stripper to destem difficult herbs like thyme, rosemary, and chives. Saves you a lot of time trying to pick the leaves off by hand. And if you're short of a vase, you could present roses to your significant other this way. Just be careful when you're pointing the sharp end. The metal tab on soda cans can be flipped around. 
you can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up to your mouth. This stay-on tab replaced the pull ring tab created in the early 60s. You uh, remember those, don't you? Those could be quite sharp and easily discarded where they could be a menace for others. Now you can pop your straw straight into one. Also means you can produce some bubbles and make a mess. Sometimes when you purchase an article of clothing, you receive a plastic baggie with an extra button and a swash of fabric. While the fabric is clearly used to patch holes, it can also be used to test the effects of various cleaners on certain surfaces. It's handy, too, to test wash cycles before using them to wash the whole garment. And if you want to clean your nose with it, that suggestion never came from me. You can use a screwdriver for leverage if you're having trouble lifting or moving something. Some also have a hexagonal shape handle that fits inside a wrench or spanner. You can use it to improve torque and, again, for leverage. A little easier on your hands. Some of us aren't that strong. Or maybe that's just me. Rubber bands are great for many things, but if you have a bottle that's hard to open, you can wrap the band around it for a better grip. Escalators have those fluffy black brushes for a similar reason that some have yellow lines on their steps. To try and deter people from getting too close to dangerous places. People don't always take notice, and sometimes clothing can drape close to a point where the step meets the edge or skirt. The brush is a little barrier to help prevent this from happening. They can also catch bits of fluff and prevent other small things from falling down into the gaps. Your average pair of jeans has several features that are both functional and somewhat sentimental. The metal rivets around the pockets help secure the stress points. This ensures they last a bit longer than average, though not all jeans have them. Many still have a tiny pocket directly above the main pocket. This was originally meant to hold a pocket watch. Even though pocket watches are mostly a thing of the past, many people still use this space to store coins, rings, or even a portable USB. Now, this may seem a little obvious, but if you've ever wondered what all the notches are in a car tire, it's for traction on the road. However, there are also a good indicator if your tire is getting too worn down. If those notches aren't so deep anymore and are almost flush with the road, it's time to replace them. If you don't, the next time you try to stop suddenly at a stop sign, you might be surprised to find your car has turned into a giant roller skate. Those takeaway containers most associated with Chinese restaurants are designed to not only carry your food home, but to store them in the fridge. They double as a plate, as you can eat straight out of them and don't have to worry about dirty dishes. Yay! They were actually patented way back in 1894 to transport freshly shucked oysters and were known as oyster pails. They were later adapted to use as leak-proof containers for food. While you're sitting on an airplane and looking out the window, you may have noticed those little holes, or in some instances, a small singular opening near the bottom. This is called a breather hole, and no, it's not for you. It's designed to equalize the difference in air pressure which builds up between the pressurized cabin and the atmosphere outside, especially during high altitudes. It also releases moisture from between the panes to avoid frost from forming on the windows and obstructing that all-important view. Sorry, but it looks like you won't be drawing a smiley face on it anytime soon. This was first introduced way back in 1956 by a company in Japan. Pretty cool, huh? They got their inspiration from snap-off rows on chocolate bars. Just don't get the two mixed up. One doesn't taste good. When it comes to measuring tape, almost every reel has an empty slot in the metallic end. This is called a nail grab, so you can attach it to a nail or screw. A handy trick to do measurements without requiring someone else to hold it in place. Ooh, very nifty. Bobby pins have grooves on one side to hold your hair in place better. Crazy notion, huh? The straight side goes face up, while the grooves go down against your head. They're called bobby pins because of the bobbed hairstyle, which was popular in the 1920s, though the pins were invented in the 19th century. 
The look is gone, but the pins remain. Please take them out before you wash your hair, as they don't look great stuck to your fingers. If you've been in a car or a bus and noticed the textured black dots baked into the black edges, you've probably worked out that it's not there for its pretty looks. It's called frit, a ceramic paint. Its main purpose is to protect the window from ultraviolet rays. It also creates a rough surface for the adhesive to cling to. The color of a chili pepper reveals nothing about its taste or heat. The smaller a chili is, the hotter it'll usually be. The heat doesn't come from the seeds, as believed, but the white membranes that hold them. Hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the Triangle Chocolate Tree. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Torone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, even though you might have thought that the hole in the barrel of a ballpoint pen had no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. One of the most recognized logos in the cycling world has a hidden item in its famous logo. Inside the Tour de France name, a cyclist hides in the O, U, and R. Those metal brackets on the top of the nozzles in gas stations have a unique design put into place in case of accidents. If a dodo accidentally forgets the nozzle is still inside the gas tank and starts driving away, the magnetic brackets separate without damaging any part of the gas pump. Wendy's logo is designed off of the daughter of creator Dave Thomas. It's also named after her nickname, but there is more to the logo than that. Wendy's collar spells out the word mom. While unintentional, it became something to mean a homey feel more than any other restaurant out there. Finding the right lane to be in while driving for your exit can sometimes be confusing, especially in a foreign country. Pay attention to the side of the road that exit signs are located. It'll be the lane you need to be in. Some toothpaste has a little seal on them that needs to be removed before you can use them. Instead of peeling back the foil layer, the toothpaste lid has a little spike on the top just for this reason. Tostitos have a secret symbol hidden right in the middle of their name. The two T's in the middle of the logo resemble two people enjoying Tostitos over a bowl of salsa. The salsa bowl is in red and forms the dot in the eye. One of the most recognizable figures in the world, the Statue of Liberty, for 16 years functioned as a fully operational lighthouse. However, the light was barely visible, even from Manhattan. In 1901, it was eventually decommissioned as a lighthouse. Tourists could even visit the torch for a stunning view of the city. But an accident damaged the Statue of Liberty's torch in 1916, and it's been closed to the public ever since. The Do Not Remove Under Penalty of Law tag on mattresses isn't put there for the consumer or void your warranty either if you do remove them. In the 1900s, manufacturers used to create the filling with basically anything. Animal hair, old hospital beds, or clothing. It didn't matter at the time. Strict laws created the tags to stop recycled materials from being used and sold as new. Good thing! Toyota's symbol is more than just some random rings combined. The three overlapping ovals symbolize the merge of the hearts of consumers and Toyota together. A California sushi roll is made of seaweed, rice, cucumber, avocado, and crab meat. But it's not crab meat at all. Surimi is an imitation crab meat. It's made of white fish blended with sugar instead of crustaceans. The fish mixture is then heated and pressed into shape. The logo for Beats is just a lowercase b inside of a red circle. The circle represents a human head, with the b being the headphones in their shape. 
All those little black dots around the edges of car windows are called frits. A frit is a painted black enamel that's put into windshields during manufacturing. They block ultraviolet rays and help distribute temperatures between the metal and glass. There are 24 symbols hidden inside the Unilever logo. Let's count, shall we? The sun, dove, plant, spark, chili pepper, spoon, bowl, flower, ice cream, mm, hand, hair, lips, swirl, fish, clothes, bee, particles, packaging, transformation, waves, DNA, palm trees, heart, and virtuous cycle, whatever that is. These represent everything that the company believes in and produces. DNA? Bobby pins are designed so that the zigzag part goes onto your scalp, not the flat part. It gives a greater grip on the hair and skin, making the pin stay in longer. The story that the pins were named after those fashionable London constables called bobbies is not true. I made it up. Skyscrapers have hollow floors that can contain nothing but an elevator. It's actually a way to get around height limits. Some skyscrapers are given a limit to the number of floors they can have. Because the hollow floors are empty, they add to the height of the building and make it look more impressive without increasing the number of floors and breaking the building contract. These hollow floors also help to prevent the spread of fires. Women's shirt buttons are traditionally on the left for a reason. Back in the day, it was a sign of wealth, as it signified that a chambermaid had dressed you, as having the buttons on the left made it easier for them to do up the shirt. Your cuticles serve a purpose, so think before you get rid of them. The small area of skin is there to protect your nails from infection. Without it, bacteria and fungi can get in. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, Cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. If you look closely at an elevator door, you'll notice a tiny hole. This is actually a keyhole used for emergencies or for routine maintenance checks. Those random buttons dotted across your jeans are called rivets and are placed in the weakest spots of the jeans to protect them from ripping due to strain or movement. The Statue of Liberty's crown has seven points for a reason. They represent the seven seas and seven continents and were added so that she could extend her freedom to everyone on Earth. Suitcases often come with two zippers so that you can connect them with a padlock to prevent theft. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. If you're in a hurry to get somewhere but your phone is low on charge, Switch it to airplane mode while it's plugged in. It'll charge much faster. Men's shirts have a loop on the back so that they can be hung on a hook in a dressing room or a locker room without creasing. Vaseline has a hidden purpose. It's great for removing scuffs from patent leather shoes. It'll also shine them. Trunks have an emergency latch if you ever accidentally lock yourself in, like I do. Don't ask me why. If you fumble around to locate it, all you have to do is pull on it and the trunk should open. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. Take a look at your laptop keyboard. There are bumps on the F and J keys, but nowhere else. When your fingers are in the optimal typing position, your index finger should rest on these two keys. The bumps have been added so that you can correctly position your hands for typing without looking at your keyboard. If you happen to be missing your index fingers, perhaps from feeding sharks a little too closely, then you're out of luck. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.